cleaning up the messy store. Minnie Mart was preparing for getting restocked, but suddenly the drug dealer barged in and assaulted him. The dealer beat him up, demanding the drugs back. Minnie Mart was baffled and tried to reason with him, but the dealer thrashed his store. The drug dealer didn't listen to word he said and had him beaten black and blue by his thugs. Barely conscious, Minnie Mart fretted over leaving the store open and overheard the thugs saying the twins raided his place, but found nothing. They demanded to know where he hid the drugs, but he insisted he delivered them as instructed. When he asked for payment, the dealer angrily yanked his hair. Out of nowhere, Quan popped up and noticed Minnie Mart's face. The dealer accused Minnie Mart of stealing drugs. Quan squatted, check on Minnie Mart, asking why he was smiling. It made him feel sick. Minnie Mart urged Quan to vomit on him, echoing his words from last night. Hearing this, Quan immediately ordered the goons to leave, unless they wanted their heads bashed in. After they left, Quan asked why he didn't tell them he was with him during the delivery. Minnie Mart explained it would have sparked rumors and required explanation. Quan chuckled at the lengths Minnie Mart went to protect his reputation. Minnie Mart shamelessly told him he still hurt from last night because he almost tore him down there. Quan laughed and called him son of a bitch, but he was happy to see him nevertheless. When they got back to the Mart, it was empty, wiped clean. Quan asked Minnie Mart what he'd do about his debts and rent now. Minnie Mart's business was screwed. He checked his journal, and Quan teased him about selling his organs. Minnie Mart promised to pay back his debts, but Quan asked how. He said kids like him either ran away or died. Minnie Mart insisted he wasn't like them. He thought he hadn't gone through all that just to run away now. So Quan jokingly suggested he sell his body. Minnie Mart immediately offered himself to Quan, who laughed and asked why he'd buy a piece of crap like him in the first place. Minnie Mart could only stare. Quan thought he'd gone insane, but asked for his number anyway. Minnie Mart said he didn't have a phone, which surprised Quan. Annoyed, Quan said he'd take care of everything and gave Minnie Mart payment for the bike and delivery. He said he'd see him soon. Minnie Mart felt relieved that Quan didn't clear his name, but didn't make him take responsibility either. He almost gave Quan his number, but it was a shame he didn't have a phone. 